Hello, my Librans. Hello, everybody. I have Light Seer's Tarot for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Taurus is King of Pentacles, energy coming in at the bottom of the deck. Aries, Emperor Reverse over here. Emperor Reverse. Let's see. I don't want to pigeonhole the energy quite yet. Um, cause normally I get a feel of the pre-energy and it, it could be the main story. It may not be something tells me. I just, let's see what, where these cards go. Alrighty. Let's see for Libra. What is the energy? I, I guess I'm getting right into the spiel. I'm not even doing my normal. What's the energy for Librans they need to be aware of? Cards are, are jumping Libra. What is the energy for Librans they need to be aware of? Look at the ace of cups. I'm sticking out. What is the energy for Libra they need to be aware of? If anything wants to fall out, feel free. What is the energy for Librans? Am I going to... I'll pull it, I guess. No. Oh, Libra, that's a lot. Is it? No, it's only two. Okay, Justice. There you are, Lady Justice and the Knight of Wands reverse. But that fell out between the King of Pentacles once again and the King of Cups. Ace of Cups is being brought to you, Justice. It, I feel like you got a commitment here, honestly. What's influencing the Ace of Cups and the Justice card? With that Nine of Wands, it's Nine of Wands reverse, right? Sometimes it's hard to read it on these cards. Um, Sagittarius energy. So we got you, Justice, Sagittarius, and then you got some water going on over here. It feels like somebody's hanging up their running shoes. You know what I mean? for some commitment shoes. What's influencing the Ace of Cups? What's influencing the Ace of Cups for Libra? The Seven of Swords Reverse. An apology. Seven of Swords Reverse is, it is an apology for what somebody did. Um, it's getting caught too, but I feel like that could be what they're apologizing for. Let's see what's going on. Reason for the reading. The Empress Reverse. There you are with Taurus. Empress Reverse is half Libra, half Taurus energy. What's in the past? Nine of Wands, Sagittarius again. The Nine of Wands is holding one's energy back, holding that Page of Wands, holding the Eight of Wands back, seeing what happens. It's a card of seeing what happens. Somebody put a lot of time in. They don't want to just abandon it. And, you know, until let's see, you know, let's see what they do. So it is upright and somebody's still on, on the waiting back here. What is on Libra's mind? What is on the Libra's mind? Six of Cups. So is this a happy reunion? There's Scorpio. What? Reason for the reading, the Empress Reverse, is some of you, this was a third party, and you have the Knight of Wands Reverse here, Seven of Swords Reverse, getting away from something, and but a Justice Upright. What's below the Emperor Reverse? The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Could the Empress Reverse be who they're leaving? Because it's a very mother card and so with the world, but it just feels like maybe somebody's leaving something long-term. They don't want this just to be a short-term thing. They want this to be a long-term thing. Um, it could be that. It could be that. What's another card for Libra on their mind? Another card for Libra and, uh, Libra on their mind. And the Queen of Cups. Whatever this is, it's good for you. Nine of Wands is you held out for this, though. You held out, and finally this person's coming to you ready and correct. Look at that, the Two of Swords, there you are, and that fell out between the Chariot and the Ace of Swords. I feel like in the Wheel of Fortune, I honestly am really gonna, if, um, if you were with somebody and it was just either, if this isn't a third party, or it could be a third party, because it could be somebody's a distance thing as the other party, it could be a job thing. They could only come to you on, on short periods of time, and maybe somebody wants to make it more official and more permanent. The reason why I'm getting a third party thing because everything is very happy is the Sempress Reverse. 
It could be that. And maybe when you're away from somebody, that's how it feels. But it feels like they're coming towards you with an ace of cups and the justice. So the two of swords is I don't, she is blindfolded and she's in this in between. I kind of don't feel like you're going to see this, this person coming back so soon. What is this two of swords? Oh, well, I'm not clarifying yet. Give me another card for a near future for Libra. Another card for the near future for the Librans. The king of swords reverse. Both cards are not really seen. It's a card of pulled back. Bottom of the deck is the queen of swords reverse. Ten of wands reverse. Some of you step back from this and it could, or it could just be a couple days or a day. Empress reverse is going within to heal. And two of swords is a lot of healing. King of swords reverse is also could be healing. It's pulling oneself back and saying, I can't deal with this right now. But you have an ace of cups upright in the center. You have the justice upright in the center. On your mind is the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of feelings for somebody here. What is the Ace of Cups center of the reading? What is the Ace of Cups center of the reading? Gosh, Libra. It could be a Libra in something. Having a lot of feelings for someone but still tied into something. I don't think, again, I don't think it would be for long. What's the Ace of Cups center of the reading? Nine of Wands reverse. Look at that. Somebody's letting go of something and taking a chance. Nine of Wands reverse is no longer keeping fear. Fear is not holding this person back in pain. And he's holding his Eight of Wands back upright. Reverse, he gets out of his way and tr goes for it. Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles coming in and the star and the judgment. I honestly feel, Libra, this is going to be a happy surprise, but I feel like in a million years, you may not have guessed this person's actually going to do it. You you thought of it, you hoped it, but I, I feel like a full-on commitment here, honestly. What is this Justice card? Seven of Swords is getting away i get sneakiness seven of swords can be a very sneaky behavior seven of swords is aquarius which is the king of swords to your queen of swords self even here you got the queen of swords to the king of swords king of swords can be a very quiet hidden kind of energy i mean we'll get there we'll clarify but the we influencing energy is a seven of swords reverse right here is a seven of swords upright What is the Seven of Swords reverse for Libra influencing? Four of Pentacles reverse. Why am I getting somebody got caught? Seven of Swords reverse can mean somebody got caught. Four of Pentacles reverse is being released from something because somebody could have gotten caught. Why the Empress reverse reason for the reading? Libra and Taurus energy. Why the Empress reverse reason for the reading? The Page of Wands. Give me one more card there. And the, but the Star reverse. Page of Wands means it was exciting. Why why it was going on? Reason for the reading. I for some of you you mean you may not have heard from somebody. I feel like something happened on their end that you're not privy to. And then when they come back into your life, you're going to be maybe surprised. But if this was a third party, I'm really getting somebody got caught. And Empress Reverse is, is just feeling down. It's like, I thought we were on the same page or I thought they were coming my way. Something happened, something ended, star reverse and the empress reverse. It could be you sad about that connection. But more importantly, reason for the reading is something could have ended. And now with the page of wands, something is ready to begin. As the star reverse came out, bottom of the deck coming in is the strength and the queen of wands. More true pair, king and queen of wands in their cards. What's below that king of swords and the higher fin? Somebody's leaving something and coming your way. 
I'm sorry. It's a, it really feels like a third party. It really does. Nine of Wands in the past. Six of Cups reverse back here on your mind is a Six of Cups upright. Why the Six of Cups reverse? Ten of Cups reverse. Somebody was in some type of family unit. I kind of feel actually, Libra, that this in the past could be somebody holding on to this situation which led to an ending of this, you know, somebody really thought this was going somewhere and maybe somebody said, I can't do this right now, which leads why we have a nine of wands reverse here. Somebody that was holding on to something is finally letting go. So you have a six of cups upright and a queen of cups upright on your mind. King, there's so much true pairing going on in this reading. It's crazy. Six of cups and the queen of cups is Scorpio and Cancer, which is the king and queen of cups. King and Queen of Swords. We have the King and Queen of Wands. I keep seeing the Emperor. He hasn't fallen out, but the Empress is definitely out. What is the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups on your mind? And the world. A new beginning, definitely. Look at that. Pulled the you got the Knight of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups. Knight of Swords reverse is somebody cutting something out that was causing a lot of chaos. Somebody wants to make something a lot easier. It feels like there is a decision between two. Um, I kind of feel like somebody got caught though. I do. And that might be why it's happening sooner than you think. Two of Swords and the King of Swords reversed in the near future. Libra and Aquarius. Two of Swords and the King of Swords reversed in the near future. High Priestess reverse. Queen, there's the Queen of Swords reverse, Magician reverse, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups in the wheel. So it feels like Queen of Swords reverse, high, the High Priestess reverse is, it could be a red flag card. It, it really does. If you look up a High Priestess reverse, it can mean a red flag, but it also can mean that somebody who was once silent is now speaking. Somebody wants to come out of this in between. I feel like some, a King of Swords reverses can be obsessive thinking, overthinking, thinking, thinking. Somebody who felt, and a magician reverse, honestly, I feel like they're a magician reverse because I, Libra, you may not be speaking to them and they want to heal that. I got, I got some type of apology with a seven of swords reverse. And then you got this five of cups right here, ace of cups and the wheel of fortune. It's like somebody wants a new, somebody wants a new beginning with you. I do feel like somebody's leaving someone for a Libra. I really feel that. Now, it could be a Libra leaving somebody for whoever's watching this, like a cross watcher, because it definitely could be that. But I definitely feel like somebody's leaving something behind for, for this, for this other person, wherever you are on this triangle, whatever point. So I feel like it's going to be happy news, but a little bit of shocking news. So, but a little unex very kind of expected at the same time. It's like this mixed bag, but there's a lot of true pairing going on. And maybe it was the right person, wrong time, but geez, and now it's right person, right time. They're back. Um, and they don't want to let you go this time, Libra. All right, guys, have a good rest of your week, early start to your weekend, Libra. See you later. Take care.